All right, well, if you can hear banging in the background, that's Sesame trying to get in. All I see is little paws. It's my cat, by the way. Well, I'm back again, and I managed to find a couple things. Uh, was that last weekend? The weekend that just passed, right? I think so. Asking little miss off camera. Mm -hmm. uh, went to uh, a toy store that's closer to where my parents live than where we live right now. And they ended up having a few things, so got a bag of stuff. And in the bag are pin collections. Um, we could not find these when they originally came out. Um, and we certainly weren't going to pay the, what were they going for online? 300 $300 for one of these, so. Even like, the, like, yeah, there's, there was, and it, we, I've got one of each. Little Miss has Mew. So um, I wanted. Each comes with three packs of Hidden Fates, which, as we all know, is super cool. Uh, put it on my own head here. They're just, you know, standard little boxes. Comes with a pin. I'll get into the details uh, when I put it all down in front. You're too fat to crawl under like your mom. Oh, my cat's still trying to crawl into the room. <laughs> He's too fat though. He's stuck. <laughs> Go back from whence you came. <laughs> so I guess yes, we'll just good job. We'll just go ahead and get right into these cards. Should I take a picture of that? So now that I've kind of rearranged a bit, put some stuff in the background, looks kind of nice. Um, I've got two of these. I'll try to get it so there's not as much glare. Mew pin collection and Mew 2. Uh, Little Miss has requested that I reserve the Mew for a sort of pack battle since we haven't done that in a while. So I'm just gonna put that bad boy off to the side and we'll just get into the Mew 2. Um, it's quite nice. So then just give me two seconds. All right, got all the stuff open. Uh, start with showing off the promo card that comes with the box. So we've got a really nice holographic Mewtwo. Style's really interesting. I like the look of that a lot with the hard shadows and the lineless kind of look to it. And it's all very angular. It's kind of a Cool looking card, get that nice thing there. Super nice. So I'll set the card aside. You also get a nice little pin. Try to get that in focus. The pose is interesting. Um, I assume that's supposed to be like shadow ball or some sort of move like that. It's kind of interesting. End up putting that with my other pins. And then you end up with three Hidden Fates packs, which is like the thing that everyone wants to see. So let's just go ahead and, and get into them. Let me see if, is that better? We like that better? Let's see if it'll focus in the pack. No, it wants to focus in the background. So we'll just do this. <laughs> we'll go ahead and struggle to open the pack. There we go. Nice clean opening there. And four to the front. Make sure that's all nice and in focus. Looks good to me. So, Darkness Energy, Metapod, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Magmar, Jigglypuff, Eevee, Caterpie, Paris, Ekans, Tenet Surge's Strategy, and Misty's Water Command Hollow. It's a nice hollow. It's another one of the ones where I like the look, the art, if, if I do say so myself. Oh, geez, that one's a struggle and a half. Oh, no. It's just, yeah, there we go. Pack off to the side. And four to the front. Move that around. Now I'm not entirely sure 
if the pull rates and pin collections are particularly good. I know in the ETBs and the tins they were. So hopefully we get at least one fantastic pull. Psychic Energy, Chansey, Grabbler, Farfetched, Ekans, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Chansey Reverse, and Pinsir GX. So that's pretty nice. I know this card's not worth too much, but I don't know if I've actually pulled it. So at least it'll go well in my collection. And I guess we're already down to the last one. I'm so used to the ETVs now having 10 packs to open at once that three just seems like such a small amount, but hidden fates, you are difficult to acquire, and I do not have the money. So we'll do code card. Just pin that up, throw it over there. One, two, three, four to the front. Now, I hope the Paris wasn't our, or sorry, Pinsir wasn't our good pull for the box, but we'll see. Leaf Energy, Charmeleon, that sounds better, Jinx, Graveler, Eevee, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie. Ooh, Shiny Sido Widow did not have this one. So that's good for the Shiny Volt and Erica's Hospitality. So then I guess you could say the standout pulls were definitely the Pinsir GX and the Shiny Sido Widow. Kind of want to get a closer look at that Sido Widow. It's really nice. Sido Widow is one of those subtle shinies, but I love the shift from the green to the red. I believe the bark gets a little lighter. I like the yellow spots like that. It looks so nice. Red block. Another thing I like about this shiny bolt Pokemon is that it's just a card. Like, it's not fancy, it's not a GX, it's not a full art in any sort of way like that, but it's just a standard card with this lovely silvery white background and the subtle gold sparkles. Like, it's just, just a nice looking card all around. So, for that, I guess, we're all set and all done. And I believe I'm about to go into a pack battle with Little Miss, so we'll see how that goes. Wish me luck. Till next time, guys. Dex, and I'll catch y'all later.